Updated daily, Helium's cheap convexity seeks to find options trades with highly asymmetric returns at low cost. In this video, you'll learn how cheap convexity works, as well as how to interpret what the models are telling you. Let's find a trade. Let's take a closer look at the Disney call debit spread. If filled at the midpoint, this trade has a max loss of $191 and a theoretical max win of unlimited. For cheap convexity, Helium tries to maximize the ratio of max win to max loss. Probability of profit is the estimated likelihood of success on this trade. As you can see, Helium's AI models think this trade has a 21% chance of success. The market thinks we have a 16% chance of success. Expected value is our theoretical edge on this trade, or the average of all potential future outcomes of this trade. Historically, this model has returned an average of 77% returns over 21 trades. How can we understand what this graph is telling us? Since this trade expires in 14 days, the red and green lines represent our future estimated profit and loss depending on the future price of Disney. The current price of Disney is about 92. As you can see, to make money on this trade at expiration, the price of Disney will need to be higher than $97. The dotted orange and blue lines represent helium and the market's estimated uncertainty for the price of Disney in 14 days. Let's dive deeper into the risks of this trade. Since this is a long options trade, this trade will benefit from increases in implied volatility or future uncertainty. In order to pay for the long convexity of this trade, Theta, or time decay, will eat away at our profits over time if nothing happens. Let's look at the Greeks. A delta of $86 means that this trade is long the underlying, DIS. A beta of $95 means that this trade is long the market. A theta of minus $21 means that on the first day we will lose $21 to theta decay if nothing else happens. A gamma of $32 means that this trade is long convexity or acceleration with respect to the underlying price. A vega of $24 means that this trade is long vega, or long uncertainty. Now let's look at the historical performance of this model. This graph represents the cumulative percent return of opening this trade every day that it's available. The vertical lines represent the days where new trades were opened. Although the average P&L is about $161 on this trade, only 21 trades means that we should take this with a grain of salt. Since these historical trades are simulated, the range of the blue line represents the worst and best possible case scenarios, and the dark blue line in the middle represents if we had been filled at mid-price. To dive deeper into historical performance, you can download the trade log. This will show you details of previous trades. Now let's look at the options pricing for this trade. For the options in this trade expiring in 14 days, this graph represents the price difference between Helium's AI models and the market. If Helium's models are correct, kinks or dislocations in this graph can potentially indicate profitable trading strategies. Now let's look at the trade mechanics. To implement this trade, we'll buy seven 97 strike call options and sell one 98 strike call option, both expiring on May 26. Buying seven options and selling one option allows us to take advantage of the positive convexity of options, while selling our option will help us reduce carry cost. Interested in diving deeper? Click the How Helium Cheap Convexity Works button. Nothing in this video constitutes investment advice, performance data, or any recommendations. Helium is not responsible in any way for the accuracy of any model predictions or price data. Helium trades is for informational purposes only and not responsible for any of your investment decisions.